Hey there, Dr. Daniel Lopez, and today I want to talk about how tongue ties can be causing forward head posture. Uh, I know a lot of times we're blaming cell phones and laptops and things like that, and I'm not saying that those aren't important factors and involvements, but tongue ties are also incredibly common, and they physically force this posture on onto people a lot of the times. And the way they do that is there is uh, the the tongue is continuous with the fascia layer. The fascia is a, a connective tissue in the body, and the the fascia layer is part of the visceral layer. But specifically, there's the pharyngeal fascia. That is that's fascia a fascia that connects to the cranial base uh, on the undersurface of the skull in front of the vertebrae. And then that that fascial uh, ten, that that fascia comes down into the neck and envelops the trachea, esophagus, and other structures, and then continues into the chest. And it, in the chest, it spans out and forms the inner lining of your chest wall, and and, and then uh, and then envelops a lot of your your organs in there, and then anchors onto the the diaphragm. So essentially, what you have is you have this fascia layer that's strongly anchored into the chest. And what happens with a tongue tie is that the tongue tie just shortens that fascia. So what you end up having is if you had uh, a rope, for example, that had some slack on it, uh, it, it would allow for some flexibility, but suddenly the, the tongue tie is like, it, it, it's like shortening that rope. And then what ends up happening is that when that rope is shortened, uh, the head gets pulled down and that is forced down and forward slightly. Uh, and that's what happens with that fascia, with that fascia from the tongue tie is it, it shortens, it adds extra tension onto that fascia layer, and based on how strongly it affects it, then uh, may, it, it can depend on how much of a, a forward head posture you see from that. So uh, I just wanted to take a little bit of time and explain that, because that is, uh, as, far, as far as I've seen uh, and experienced, a huge problem for, for, this, for, for this kind of a forward head posture and people who have this have a hard time standing up straight because they're having to fight all this tension internally and it's not a very comfortable position for them. So uh, it's it's something that I that I think if you think that you have a, an issue like this, you may want to be evaluated by a myofunctional therapist or, or uh, some kind of specialist who is well versed in tongue ties, not somebody who uh, actually a lot of doctors even themselves aren't necessarily well versed in tongue ties and, and don't know about it. So if they don't, if they're not actively uh, studying it and have, and have looked at it, then they may not be qualified to look at that. But uh, but I hope that gives you some insight on on forward head posture and what is going on and uh, perhaps uh, some things to look at if this is something that you deal with, because in, in no when you have this, no amount of chin, chin tucks and other exercises are gonna are gonna ma really make a huge difference. So, uh, in these cases, you have to deal with the tongue tie itself.